I'm gonna go back to chai. Thank you, DJ Kaizo, DJ Kanoj. I'm back for the second half of Chai with Raja, guys. It's a pleasure to see you guys. We have. There we go. And Raja Babu, DJ Kaizo, DJ Kanoot with this remix, guys. I want you all to dance because the second half of Chai with Raja. I don't do this for a lot of people. This is the second half. This is my second hour with you guys. It's a pleasure to be with you. I've seen your dance moves, Yara. <laughs> we're waiting, we're waiting for everyone to log back in. We'll start again in two minutes with your masala chai. Can you hear me clearly? I can, I can now. Totally fine. Can you give me a dance? For Raja Babu. Hey, Sam Kureshi, take it on. Take a booya, take a dinna. We have to wait, unfortunately. This takes a little bit of time because we have to wait just for just for the. Thanks for being so honest on chit chat, and it was great to. Sorry, you couldn't hear me. I don't know what the problem was, but no, it's okay. It's okay. All good now. All good. Sanya Mehta is in the house. Hi, Sanya. Welcome on. Thanks Everybody. for joining us, Sanya Mehta. Thank you for joining us. She's obviously been a star of this show so far. So, I um, you can start your masala chai any time, Yara. You can play. I can play you one more song. We can start masala chai. The stage is yours. We have two minutes. No, no, we can start it, bro. Or you can play some songs and uh, ask all our friends here, Amisha and Sanya and uh, <laughs> Rajiv, okay. everybody to show some dance moves. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll play. Should I play Steven's song or should I? I'll play Steven's intro song. Okay, he was Steven and Alison were on before this, so I'm gonna play them the songs. I know, so I know they know that you were dancing to his song. I will. I watched the whole show. Flash show. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Now should I move the should I move the neck like Stephen? Yeah. How <laughs> class? The Amritraj did the same dance move. बहुत अलग. I'll start in one minute, Yara. No worries, all good. Man. All how's, good. How's, how's, how's Lahore? How's everything? Lahore is all right, man. We just took out the lockdown now. The lockdown has been lifted after Eid. We had Eid celebration last week. Oh, nice! Yeah, so cool. it's kind of yeah, sad. Right. Everybody is going crazy here, and uh, and uh, today actually uh, was pretty scary. We had the most uh, corona, basically virus things, uh, more than Italy and Spain. Wow! So I think I think so, Mumbai is pretty bad too. Eid Mubarak, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, yeah, thanks, yeah. thanks a lot. Um, we'll start. Assam Kureshi, this is your masala chai. Masala chai, let's do this. <laughs> this is your masala chai, powered by Bridge, and it's starting right now. Assam, the Indo Park Express, the Indo Park Express, the Stop War Start Tennis Express, could it have covered? Could it have run faster, and could it have covered more destinations? Definitely, if he has stayed a bit longer, yes, hundred percent. Okay, great answer. 
on a scale of 1 to 10 yaar how good a job do you think imran khan is doing in pakistan for me compared to the other uh, our uh, previous prime ministers very good okay 1 to 10 i would yeah. say 7 right now 7 okay have you eaten dinner already have you eaten dinner no no okay what what will you eat for dinner today you really want me to tell you Today is my cheat day. Today is my cheat day. I had halwa puri and chane and nihari in the morning, and I'm planning on having the same at night. <laughs> nice, yeah, nice. So in the week, I'm guessing you're healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much better than this, man. <laughs> There are three things that you would take with you from your house if you were to go in the wild with Bear Grylls. If I have to go in wild and do what? With Bear Grylls, he's a he's he's a guy who goes ah, in the ah, wild and does. Okay, okay, Bear Grylls with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kya karna? Ah, uh, three three things you can take with you. I'll definitely take my racket. I think it can come handy in few things, killing all the mosquitoes and uh, all the. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Thing. I have no. I hope it does. Yeah. yeah. I'll do that. Uh, I think I have to take a knife with me okay. for sure. Yeah, you have a and, knife. Uh, powerful. Yeah, daggers वगैरह थोड़े से होते हैं यार and uh, and definitely a phone I think from my home man. Okay, nice. Because I'm gonna get lost. I'm gonna get lost for sure and stranded. So I need some backup to call and stuff like that. <laughs> nice, nice. So, uh, how would you charge your phone, यार? क्या कह रहे? कैसे charge कैसे करेगा वो phone को? यार फिर multi battery लेके जानी होगी ना यार नहीं तो ठीक है by Roger Rafa or Novak in terms of for this stop hunger campaign what was it yeah novak shirt from 2011 uh australian open shirt that he won uh and uh, he was wearing uh, obviously the shirts he wore changed a lot of time but that was the one from that campaign 2011 wow. campaign uh, which he won also so it's big deal i think wow okay that's that's a great i mean that's great that he could help you and uh, unbelievable gesture by everybody in this tough time But uh, and you going from house to house to house trying to help everyone and it's incredible. Yeah. No thanks. We don't. Yeah. And apart so, from uh, that, I think another big one which you would know also was uh, Shweb Akhtar's ha- helmet. Uh, yeah. Shahrukh yeah. Khan gave it to him after mm. he won the IPL. I think it was pretty yeah, yeah. sweet uh, gift as well. Yeah. Jivan now asks you a question. Jivan, your friend, our friend, asks you a question. <laughs> he says, um, "The more popular guy in the locker room, Leander Pace or Mahesh Bhupati?" Leander man, not even the locker room outside the locker room also. <laughs> uh, I I won't ask. I won't go into it. I won't go into the details. But you know, you I'm know, glad you're not. I'm very very <laughs> glad you're not doing that. <laughs> yeah, would you swap the Arthur Ashe Humanitarian Award which you won back in the day? And uh, you know, would you swap it if I gave you an award for the best looking guy on the ATP tour? No, dude, never. Okay, that's what I believe your award should be. So, uh, well, I mean, I know that that award is very special to you, but I would personally say my award to you is the best looking guy on the ATP tour. Oh yeah, thanks, Raja. It's coming from you right now. The way you're looking, man, uh, it's too good. Thanks, sir. Uh, your hand-eye coordination has been immense. I mean, uh, I respect it. I've respected it for years. Uh, can you tell me the Indian cricketer you would have played like if you were to play cricket? Oof, if I played, I think I would have really would like to play like Virat Kohli, man. Oh, wow, unbelievable! Uh, go for the best, Tiara. He was he's our best for sure. No, he is everyone's best, man. He is the best right now. I admire him and the way he takes the game on and everything. The mentality is too good. That if you're saying that, can I can would you take him on in a fitness challenge? Man, no. I think he's much much better than me, dude. The guy's <laughs> okay. crazy. Yeah, yeah. But someday when so. someday when Sumit said they will take them on in any fitness challenge, and I think you've got him. You think so? Yeah, I think you've got him. I don't know, man. 
yeah. i don't know the guy looks like a beast to me i don't know <laughs> yeah so what do you think will have the greater impact in lahore yara you being the finance minister of pakistan or you being the wimbledon champion of pakistan i think wimbledon champion okay would you rather climb a mountain or jump from a plane i've jumped from a plane already so i think i can do that so probably jump from <laughs> the plane dude <laughs> fair enough with okay, a parachute yeah. or without a parachute that's a question yeah, also na yeah yeah exactly your one your one match superstition your one match superstition yaar my is uh, before after but before probably a certain prayers being a muslim there are certain prayers that i recite before i get on the court okay, if i don't nice. do that then i i, I end up losing then it dies me nuts what do you think you can improve in your game for 2021 what i can improve in my game uh probably be more explosive on the court i think okay and esam nephews are most proud of him because fill in the blank i am their uncle <laughs> no i think it's more than that but uh, yeah that's a very noble answer um congratulations on your wedding yara can you tell me the one thank thing, you can you tell me the one thing that you and sana will cook for us when we come to lahore when we come to congratulate you she's right here can i ask her or do i have to yeah, answer yeah yeah you can ask you can ask her of course come on quickly quickly huh pizza she's saying pizza dude <laughs> okay done done i'm in for a pizza i'm always in for pizza yeah. it's our favorite food yeah thanks yeah. it's her favorite food as well yeah uh if you could ask god one question what would it be if you if i can ask god one question what it would be if i'm going to heaven or hell once i've done with my life i can tell you it's heaven yara <laughs> you're, you're living a pretty noble <laughs> you can living a pretty noble life uh the most talented player you've played against the most talented player i played against uh after you probably marcelo reos Oh, I'm not in the same league as Barcelona. <laughs> Please don't complicate this, guys. I, I'll just like to make it clear to all of you: Esam is a dear friend to me, but I'm not in the I'm not in the same league as this guy. Yeah. No, I have al- I have always I have always and always have admired your talent. I've always, you know thank that. You, thank you. For the last thank twenty you. odd years, dude. Thanks. Thanks. So, yeah. but I would say Marcelo Reos, man. Yeah. I had the pleasure of playing against him. So, your favorite roulette number. My favorite roulette number is ten. Okay, wow. And Ramiz Junaid, your old friend from back in the day, he asks you a very yeah, yeah, yeah. noble question. He says, uh, "Would you rather have world peace, or would you rather stop world hunger?" Oh wow! Uh, I think hunger. Wow. Okay. Very interesting. Because if we can't eradicate hunger, there won't be any peace in the world, dude. Okay. And the It's last the two questions, necessity. yeah. Last two questions for me. Thanks so much for being on. The last question is um, a fun one. It's uh, you know, while we were on tour for so many years, can you give me a guesstimate of the number of women or girls or potential that you've rejected in the last in the of uh, mad- marriage proposals that you've rejected in the last. Well, I would say I've known you for twenty or fifteen years. I would say, can you give me a number? <laughs> no, no, man, I don't have a number for it, dude. No, I, I just need a number from you. I just need a number. Like I, I've obviously known you for a long time, so I can tell whether this is the truth or roughly the truth because I don't know each and every one. They go so fast, so I'm just, you know, wondering if there's a number or we can get to, you know, I know that. Can you tell me a rough number of the people who, you know? you your sister your family i'm not saying it's you just the number in the last 15 years yeah ah you 20, put me on the spot years. right in front of my wife dude that's <laughs> yeah, stuff man she's my now you're married now it's fine now i can ask you that question openly i know yeah i think it's her fault she came in my life really late so, so it took me som- 20 som- years som- to accept it someday someday saying it's over 100 sandeep saying it's over 100 <laughs> Can we get a? Can we get a? Can we get a number? Yeah, very tough, Raja. Yeah, yeah, just just the number, just the fun number that we can all laugh about later. 
There is no fun number, dude. You guys are already cracking, and I haven't said a number yet. The Sanya is saying a hundred. Sanya is saying a hundred. I don't know why is he saying a hundred. Yeah, yeah, go, go for it, Tiara. Your, I have to. Okay, we we'll go for hundred. Okay, we we'll go for hundred. Everybody is agreeing to hundred, so let's go for hundred. Uh, can I can I confirm that? <laughs> can I confirm a hundred? Can I confirm Assam Kureishi has rejected a hundred proposal before marrying Sanya? Uh, let's say that. Just put it that. Put that. <laughs> and last question, Yara. Thank you so much for being on. The one thing you love about Pura Raja. Most humble guy. All every time, every every time I reach you, you're always available, man. No matter what you're doing, where you are, who you're with, you have always been available for me. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Yara. Thanks. Thanks so much. Thanks, and I'll and I'll um I'll see you soon. But thanks so much for being such a spot and being on Chai with Raja. It's been a great episode. And, you guys thank obviously you so very much, you know, thank integral you so very part much. of our so thank you so much next up really we have Rajiv Ram thank, thank you so much yara say bye to sana bye bye guys yeah, next up we have yeah, Rajiv Ram the abcd is in the house assam was great guys the next up we have the real abcd all you late night owls this is for you because he is from america The two time Grand Slam champion is in the house, guys. Rajiv, I can get a request anytime, guys. I'm ready to go. Here we go, Raj. Things are made of. There's nothing you can do. I'm in New York. The two Grand Slam champions. He's in the house. You can dance if you want. I'm not going to get another man. You don't have my song anymore. I think we should leave the dance for him. <laughs> Now you're a Grand Slam champion. You can dance. <laughs> India will love you. I have my chai here, just for you. Yeah. Thanks, yeah, thanks. I'll wait for the chorus, but I expect the jig. Big Ben, the. Pura London to Makda. I'll wait for the end. I'll wait for the end. You don't wait for the whole song. Pura London to Makda. Pura London to Makda. Everyone thought the Koinu diamond was what we lost, but I said Rajiv Ram is what we lost. <laughs> Yeah. Everyone everyone kept saying the Koino diamond the most precious jewel we lost. Rajiv thanks for being on man. It's my honor Purav to be on yeah. your show. Thanks man. I I I know you've been following it and thanks for all the support throughout the years in everything I do not just my tennis but thanks. Um uh, Raj uh, before we start I'd like to point out that uh you are the current Australian Open champion. You are the current world number one team in the world, and it's it's a pleasure to have you on Indian Tennis Daily because they we really need to see people like success stories like you to inspire okay. India. Thanks. That's very sweet of you, Purav. Thank you. Thanks, sir. I'm going to start before before I tell you more compliments. I'm going to start. <laughs> Wisdom. Okay, let's see what I got for you. Okay, here we go, Rajiv Ram. Welcome to Chai with Raja. in the the top seeds in the draw when you won the silver medal in rio can you name me the top seeds in the draw oh this combined. is indian time so we go very fast yeah yeah indian time goes very fast huh <laughs> um 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, would it have been Rafa and Mugarusa? I'll, I'll give you a re-guess because your first question. That wasn't right, huh? No, <laughs> that wasn't it. Um, who is number one in the world? I'll tell you right now, it's a doubles team. It's a doubles lineup. It's a mixed doubles team. Well, of course... Are you talking about mixed doubles or doubles? You're talking about mixed doubles, right? I mean, I mean, the ranking works. It, it's either or, right? So the ranking yeah. works on doubles, right? So yeah, it's mixed doubles. I'm saying mixed doubles. You won the silver medal, and um, go for it. Um, but the players were doubles players. Doubles. They were doubles I mean. players. Yeah. Mahout. Uh, and... Yeah. 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 Mahout and Mladenovic. Mahout and Garcia. So I'm going to give you half for that. Yeah. Close, though. Yeah. Can you tell me? Yeah, half, half, half. Okay, second question. Can you tell me the current ODI captain of the Australian cricket team? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> you asked me an NFL question, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just, uh, just a guess. I'll name you any Australian player. I mean, you, could tell, you, could tell me it's, you could tell me it's you, and I would say probably. <laughs> okay. It's Aaron Finch. Okay, I, I expected your cricket knowledge, but I asked you that anyway. Because I, you know, obviously you're close to India. Um, Maria Sharapova, her grunt in decibels, how loud is it? <laughs> um, grunt in decibels, Rajiv. Uh, yeah, I'll give you up and down four. I'll give you up and down 20. 55. 75. Wow. Okay. 105. It's 102 decibels. That's really? louder. That's louder than an aircraft in midair. I, I wouldn't have guessed that. That's too good. It's that's louder question. than an aircraft in midair, guys. Maria Sharapova was grand. Uh, the distance, I know that you've done this a lot because I know that you're a Bangalore boy. Can you tell me the distance between Bangalore and Mysore? Yeah, I did do in it. Kilometers. Right. In kilometers. In um, kilometers. It took maybe... Do you remember this is Indian roads? I know. I, I, I did it more times than I would like to remember. Um, <laughs> Go for it. Go for it, Yara. A hundred. A little bit more. 150. It's 144. I'm going to give you half for that. Can you tell me the date of India's Independence Day? Uh, 1947. No, no, just the date, not the year. Yeah. It was 1947 though, right? Yeah, the date. Mm, December 7th? That's my birthday, no. <laughs> <Is it really laughs> that wasn't right. Yeah, that wasn't right. I don't know, I knew it was 1947. I don't know the exact date. Okay, the answer is August 15th. That's when we celebrate that. Can you tell me, I know that this is one of your passions, so can you tell me the average price per square foot of land in Manhattan today? Yeah, for, okay, the average, what's my up and down? Your up and down is about, I'll give you up and down $300. And we're talking just the land, not anything on it, right? I mean, yeah, just, just the land, like buying a square foot of land. Yeah. Um, in Manhattan though. In Manhattan. I'll give you in dollars because obviously it'll be tough for you to convert, but I'll give you in dollars. I'm gonna say, 650. Okay, the average price of land as of last year in the cent in Manhattan is $1,773. dollars <laughs> i am not buying there, don't worry. That's, that's 1 lakh 30,000 rupees, guys. That's okay. ridiculous. Anyway, can you name me four men's players that have won only one Grand Slam title? Four men's players, singles, I'm assuming? Yeah, singles, men's singles, sorry guys. Men's singles, one, one Grand Slam title only. Okay, Andy Roddick. Okay, I don't think that's true. Is that true? Is that right? He, and, gonna... Wait, you're saying he's only won one? Only won one? Yeah, only won one. I have to check it, but yeah, he's not on okay. my list, but I'll give that to you. I'm going to give Andy it to Roddick, you. Andy Roddick, Michael Chang. Yeah, um, that's back Marin, in the day. Marin Cilic. Yeah, and there's one and more from now. Juan Martin Del Potro. Wow, that's great. I had all kinds of information on there. But I, I did, well, you went for the absolute normal ones. Well done. Can you tell me the recipe for pesto sauce? Um, can I tell you the recipe for pesto sauce? Yeah. I've never made it in my life. 
Yeah. I'm guessing a bit of garlic, a bit of olive oil. Yeah. A bit of basil. Yeah. Um, You're missing out the fat. The fat. Pine yeah. nuts. <laughs> yeah. And then, and the real uh, fat. Oh, like heavy cream. No, a little bit, a little bit lactose linked though. Um, milk. Dairy product, dairy product. Milk. No, dairy milk. product. Eggs. Dairy product. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Cheese, yes. Yeah. I'm going to give you that though. Okay. I'm going to give you that. Okay. Can you tell me the percentage of USA nationals that do not hold a passport? Uh, I'm going to say percentage of U.S. nationals don't hold a passport. What's my up and down? The up and down is about 10%. I'm going to say 35. Re-guess. You're getting a lot of answers right. So I'm gonna, there's a lot of halves here. 25. Wrong way. 45. 58% of Americans do not hold a passport. Do not hold. I guess Americans don't enjoy traveling abroad, then, do they? <laughs> they don't need to. The world. The world. <laughs> I don't, know about don't need to, but they don't. <laughs> the world between New York and LA. You don't need to travel. According to some of us, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to give you a song. Unfortunately, and oh, this man. is your song. This is your song. Can you guess the name of the song? I know that I'm going to send you back a few years, but here you go. I have no idea. It, it's uh... it's Indian, obviously. Sorry, don't know it. Did I saw or Stevie get theirs? Uh, no, no one got that song. My mom is taking around the corner. She wants to know. She's trying to see if she can get it. <laughs> Should I play it again for her or what? No, no. She doesn't have it. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's Agar Tum Koho. Well done though, Raj. You did well on Raja Wisdom because I'm going to ask you all tough questions because I'm not, cool. I'm not here for, you know, everyone asks easy questions and I'm like, okay, boring. Ready? Chit-chat. Ready. Two-time Grand Slam champion. I think the best player in the world in doubles today. Um, wow. Yeah, that's my personal opinion. But I mean, I, I, have, I have credibility behind it. So the current Aussie Open champion. I appreciate um, your opinion. Can you, um, can you tell me a number between one and five, Raj? Let's go with five. Wow. Unfortunately, I mean, unfortunately, can you comment on uh, Marian Bartoli's recent comments? I, I'm gu- guessing that you know about them, and I'm, I'll tell everyone that she commented that doubles players travel with six people entourage and should get paid less, and the money should go towards singles qualifying. And we, I mean, we, uh, the doubles players, we take up 19% of the total prize money on tour. So I'll leave you with that thought, and your time starts. I obviously strongly disagree with her comments. I think doubles is actually one of the hidden gems or gems of the sport. I think most recreational players, especially, I mean, I can't say for all of Europe, but in America play uh, doubles mostly. I think it actually could be marketed a lot better than it is um, because it's the sport that most people play. It's the discipline that most people play. So I think it's unfortunate that someone like that feels that way. But I feel like uh, for me personally, I can't say that she's she's entitled to her opinion, but I just feel it's actually the opposite. I feel like if we did a better job of marketing it and showed the players and the skills and what they can do. I think it would be actually, you know, closer to maybe how singles is viewed. And then also I think the doubles players on the men and women's side um, are are willing to do that. They're willing to engage more with the public. They're willing to do more, you know, promotional activities. And I think, uh, I think we could actually go the other way as opposed to, you know, making it less of a, less of a product. That's uh, I'll leave you with that 57 seconder. Ali, that's great. Uh, thanks so much. I, I completely agree with you, by the way. So, hi.
I feel exactly the same. But well done on your chit chat, Raj. I don't think that was a tough one. That I gave you a tough one. There, sorry. That was a good one. Uh, your your other questions obviously were yeah. Tell me what they know, are. Yeah, your other four were. You have won an Olympic medal for USA. You have a USA passport, yet you seem so Indian. And then I left you with that thought. But、um, the biggest flaws in the USTA, the knowing limited information. What would you like to see changes in the AITA and the you know the two time Grand Slam champion? The mistakes you've made so far, and you pick number five, which is Marian Bartoli's comment. Wow, I left some good ones on the table there. Yeah, <laughs> no, we have to have you back, Raj. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. This is your masala chai. Raj,、uh, this is where things get a little bit. You can use your PowerPoint. Feel free to use it. I know I haven't mentioned that to you before, but you、uh, can、okay. use it. Yeah. If you really don't feel like answering a question, I'll move on. Okay.、Uh, only once, though. So the first question is actually from your partner Joe Salisbury. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. The first question is actually from your partner Joe Salisbury. He wants to know. That now that you are the number one team in the world, can you reveal the players you were considering to play with before you started playing with them? Wow, good question from Joe.、Um, the one person that I was really considering other than Joe was Marcel Granollers. We had actually just won the Paris Masters title before in that season, at the end of that season. So, you know, I was waiting to see what he wanted to do. He was playing singles. He was. He、uh, had mentioned to me that it's more than one, though. Yeah, so he was. He was. The top candidate. Okay,、say. and the second.、Mm, there was a couple others, but Joe was definitely at the top of the list. I mean,、okay. he was the only one that he was. He was the one. Put it this way: he was the one that I would have said yes to if he said yes.、Um, without you know, I wouldn't have said him over Joe. The number one team in the world. Can't doubt it now, Rajiv Ram.、Um, number two.、Uh, on a scale of one to ten, how bad did you feel for India after winning the semi-final match against Iran and Sanya? <laughs> Um, Looking back on it now, after I, after I won, or after the whole tournament was over, after the after the whole thing, after you knew that they didn't win a medal, and after the ten, whole、uh, after the whole tournament was over at ten. I mean, I, I wanted them to win quite badly、um, in the in the bronze playoff, but and when you and when you actually beat them in the semi,、mm, less than ten, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, was pretty, I was pretty happy. To, I was pretty happy to win that match and, okay, and okay. play for play for a gold medal myself. But I definitely enough, wanted them、so. to win win the bronze.、Yeah. If Good Will Hunting, that's your favorite movie, was remade, can you tell me which actor you would choose to play in a Bollywood movie? So if it was made in Bollywood, yeah.、Uh, any role? Yeah. I watched a lot of Amitabh Bachchan movies growing up, so the role of Robin Williams I'd give to him. Wow. Okay. That's a. a I mean, a common answer. I'd say he is the greatest we have in our game.、Uh, who's more competitive, Rajiv Ram the golfer or Rajiv Ram the table tennis player? <laughs> It's getting close. I would still say <laughs> I would still say I'll take my table tennis skills, but I've been playing way too much golf recently, so it's getting wow. close. Wow. Oh wow. Okay. The one reason you'd consider moving back to India. Uh, family.、Oh, fair enough. Okay.、Um, Somday, I've actually asked you this question. You've got a lot of questions coming in from your different right,、yeah. different heroes. Yeah. He said, "If you were part of the Indian Davis Cup team ten years ago, how good could you have been?" Um, how good could the team have been, or how good could I have?、Been? Yeah. How could how could how good could the team have been? I think we could have been pretty good. I think mostly because I think we all get along quite well. You know, we would have had a team.、Yeah. Of, of, of a bunch of people that were quite good friends, so I think、yeah. we would have brought out the best in each other. Okay, that's fair. So, can you tell me a number? Can you tell me where you would have reached? I think we ten years ago. I think we could have qualified for world group. Okay, you did. They did though twice. So, can I get yeah, a higher but, number? Uh, I mean, it depends on the draw. Depends on home away ties and the snap. But I would have considered that we would have been like a, a world group team. Okay. The, so you qualify directly for the world group every time. You don't need to worry about that. That's what. I, yeah, yeah. I don't know about every time, but I think we would have been favorites to be in the world group every fair time. Enough. Or, yeah, or, fair yeah. enough. India would take that today. I'm guaranteeing you that. The one shot. The one shot. Your another another question from Joe Salisbury to you. The、Joe's、one on fire, shot.、Huh? Joe's on fire. He's been asking me. I've only mentioned two, but he's asked a few. The the one shot you would swap with any doubles players. 
Wh- who's with one doubles player? Which shot would it be, and who would you pick? The one shot you'd swap with any doubles player. Um, I would swap my. I would say I would say I would want to swap my overhead with my partner's overhead, but that wouldn't do us any good. Mm. So. No, you're barely getting lobbed anyway. Let's go. I would swap my backhand return with yours. <laughs> That's very noble. What? What, very are you, noble. what are you talking about? I would. No question. <laughs> Tomorrow, let's do it. <laughs> very noble. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Raj. Um, since our leadership in India, Raj, we've obviously changed in the last six years. In India, has changed to a new prime minister and stuff. Can you tell me um, the the consensus is is that the respect for India has risen heaps. Can you tell me how true that is on a scale of one to ten? Um, that's the consensus with Indians, you mean, huh? Or that's just yeah, consensus that's the consensus with that's the consensus with like with people who are around India. Let's say that's the that's the feeling we get is that we are respected more now than we were six years ago. Yeah, I would say it's definitely true that it's probably it's respected more. I wouldn't, I don't know about heaps, but I would say it's respected more for sure. Okay, that's fair. So we don't have a number to it. Mm, that that is ten out of ten true, but heaps I would say six out of ten. Okay, Amisha asked you this question. She says, "If Sampras and we know you and your your nickname for the world is Rampras, but I'm gonna go with you know he's he's a carbon copy, and I I would you know it's amazing how much they are similar. But if Sampras was to play today, would he still be top five in the world?" True or false? Uh, yes. Wow. Okay. I think he's he was an unbelievable athlete. I think that's the first thing that it takes to be good in tennis today. So I think he, we wouldn't have maybe played the same style, but he would have figured it out. Wow. Okay. A tomato is a fruit or vegetable? A fruit. Okay. A country you would be okay with not visiting again? Not visiting again. Uh, Uzbekistan. Hopefully this is like a science out here. I'm going to go ahead and say that. <laughs> Something you would eat for one week straight? Uh, biryani. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> one week straight, Raj. You love I biryani. Pretty much did, I pretty much did in the last week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, if an Indian teenager was wanting to become Rajiv Ram today, what is the one thing he should focus on? Um... In tennis, I would say enjoy the game. Figure out a way to make it fun. Uh, tennis okay. has always been fun for me, and so it's allowed me to try hard and, and enjoy going to practice, enjoy going to tournaments. So make it fun. Okay, make it fun and have a serve like yours, huh? <laughs> and then a back yeah, that, like yours. Yeah. <laughs> what, what would your favorite Bollywood actress, Raj? Mm. You've been married long enough. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. I would say, out of, off the top of my head, Vidya Balan. Wow. Okay. That's uh, yeah. She is the best. Actor. Uh, best coach that you've worked with? Um, I think I've been. I've had the same coach for oh, the better part of twenty-five years. So my coach at home, he knows me the best. He knows how to make me. He Who's the coach? Brian Smith. He knows how to make me okay. play well. And yeah. Okay. But second, second, really close second would be Stephen Amadraj. Wow. Okay. Wow, Stevie, big shout out, boy! Something you would have done differently if you could have your last five years back. I would have five years, fifteen. Okay, so five years I did. Um, maybe just paid a little bit more attention to like, like uh, body, like physical work, a, a little bit differently. You know, done okay. maybe a little bit less to try and preserve a little bit more. Oh wow! Okay. Can you tell me your wife has cooked dinner? Can you tell me what would definitely be on the table? Vegetables. Okay. Some kind of vegetable. <laughs> no question. If you listen okay. right now, she knows for sure. Okay. Uh, what's your shoe size, Raj? Uh, US thirteen. US thirteen. The bigger upside you've seen live, Leander, Mahesh, or Rohan? The biggest upside. Yeah, the biggest upside. When they're playing, they're unbeatable. They do it alone. The biggest upside. You've seen doubles one singles. match. You have tell me the match you've seen in doubles. Yeah, doubles because I, I don't go back enough to singles. So. The one match. Oh man, that's a tough question. 
just one match that you remember off the top of your head that you think they, they those guys i mean that was just a joke um here you go rajiv ram your last two questions go for it i've seen i've seen lander play some pretty special tennis i i, I love bokes to death but i've seen lander play some pretty special tennis <laughs> okay. can you tell me where Mm, one that comes to mind was, I think it was it was a U.S. Open final, and I can't remember against who. I think it was against the Bryans when he was playing with Stepanek. Maybe it was yeah. a semifinal final. I can't remember, but it was a match yeah. against the Bryans when they were at the top of the game, and I felt like he was he was pretty well, good. Okay. That's how you know. If you could give AITA one piece of advice, what would it be? Trust your players a little bit more. Let them make some decisions as to what's best for them. Then don't make decisions and things that you don't know about. <laughs> chai with raja chai with raja or devotional racket oh that's a good question i devotional racket has uh has has been up there i i would say i love listening to live music right now we can't do that in person so devotional racket has has got my vote for that <laughs> wow, wow. okay <laughs> i give it i give it the wife wins every time anyway so yeah uh, thanks guys thanks rajiv you're a star thank you you know how much i like you and you know how much you've been a integral part to my career thank you so much and Gordon, wish you all the best my pleasure thank you wish you all the best and i'll be talking to you soon all right we have the judge in the house soon with rohan bopana guys thank you so much for staying on and it's my pleasure to host you guys for the next 10 minutes and i promise i'll be out very soon so here you go with the bopana introduction song hosted by amit <laughs> Rohan Bopana is in the house. Sorry, Raja, Bopana. finally, I, I'm uh, you know with some better connection this time, so I can hear you clearly. No problem. Thanks, Rohan. You have, you have. I mean, you have all the work to do. I have to just you know hand over to you now. So I'm just. Oh uh, wow! I, I last you... 15 minutes with Rohan Bopana. Oh my God! Wow! That's all you have. That's all you have today. That's all I have. Okay, let's do it. You wanna, you wanna. There was a, there was a. Amisha sang to this song as because she didn't like the other words, so she sang Bopana here. Do you wanna? I know. I can. Do you wanna go for it again? Me. Do you wanna go for it again? Yeah. yeah why not? I mean, you know, Amisha is definitely, you know, doing work for you, and now for the song Bopana part. So this is the Bopana part. Everybody in Indian tennis, this is the number one player. So one minute. Bopana. Amisha is taking away the Bopana. 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 I do play it on loop. Huh? We put on YouTube. Bopana, Bopana. Bopana, Bopana. Bopana, Bopana. Bopana, Bopana. 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 There you go, Bobsi. Who is your favorite Bollywood actress? Welcome to Chai with Raja. Thank you, thank you, Raja. Thank you very, very Welcome much. Welcome back. Welcome back. 
who is your favorite you. bollywood actress uh you know i've always loved preeti zinta for a long long wow. time okay yeah the acting or the way she looks or what's the deal i think both i i, I think enjoyed uh, some uh, you know great movies with her and amir khan and everything and yeah. i think also the way, yeah, the way she looked you only have 10, 10 you only have 10 questions so we can go as slow as you want yeah. <laughs> yeah not bad yeah. one word that by, by, the, by the way i wanted to tell you, you there was a song with uh, when uh, asam qureshi and uh, myself were playing somebody came up with a song having a names on that i'm surprised you didn't find that one oh i didn't find it i i, I should have found it actually but i wasn't you know got the guest the judge and so i should have paid more attention I, I will pay. It. I will pay, it. and I'll pay no, you but, uh, next week. But me, but Amisha has done a fantastic job. <laughs> I mean, thanks I was, to you. I was trying to make it very individual, you know, because ten years ago and stuff. I was trying to make it very individual. Please send, uh, please send me that song. <laughs> uh, the one word that describes you best when you're slightly intoxicated. Lively. Okay. <laughs> Which is the one personality trait that you simply have no time for, Bobsy? Uh Let's see. Lies. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Congratulations on uh, on your noble cause of sponsoring 60 kids. Thank you so it's much. Great, Thank it's, you. A it's a great initiative. It's a great initiative. Something uh, given that Yeah, given the immense talent that we have, what do you expect from the best of these sixty kids? And in ten years' time, can we get a ranking for that kid? I think one of the key things we are really looking at is to, uh, you know, find good athletic abilities in these kids. And I think that I is what. I just want a number. Just give me a number. 100? Just a ranking. I, hundred. Yeah, fair enough. And can you tell me a year? Because I'm guessing they're all under 16. So. 10 years, you said within 10 years, right? So I have 10 years. <laughs> no, 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 I said, oh, yeah, so 2030. <laughs> 2030, yeah. We'll That's take, a good we'll number. A, we'll take a top 100 player from one of these 60 in 2030. India will have yeah, to be like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you were to host in Bangalore, where would you take the AITA personnel for dinner? Home. <laughs> I knew that was coming. What would they? I'm not going to say what would they eat, but I hope they have a nice meal. No, I'll give them the cool, cool hospitality. I mean, you know, they, if, uh, <laughs> India we are known for our hospitality, so they will get okay. the best hospitality for sure. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Can you tell me? Guess this song, Bobsy. The next one is your song. Here we go. Nobody's got the song so far. I know this song so well. <laughs> I'm going to play it again. Chai with Raja and Rohan Bopana. Can I ask my wife? Huh? What is it? No idea. Now you're going to hate it. Which movie Harry Met Sally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have two options. You can either comment that the song. Okay, I'll finish. I'll finish the chorus. What is it? Some laga. Laga denge. Laga denge. Some something it is. Everybody is late night. Let's dance. Prasida sada, tu bani teri lada. Upnoote, 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 tujko diya thoda zada zada. Me bani teri lada. Oh, now we now we got me full energy going.
come on yeah exactly i think, uh, I think in the new you need a new show with bollywood raja <laughs> i know i wish anyone would hire me for bollywood anyway we uh, <laughs> i would I mean <laughs> uh popsy on a scale of 1 to 10 you have two options you can either talk about this for 20 seconds on marian batoli's comments or you can tell me a scale of 1 to 10 on how true they are can you talk about them for 20 seconds sure your time marian batoli commented on doubles recently your time starts now well i think uh, you know she definitely does not know too many facts <laughs> she herself has played enough and more doubles and made a lot of money during her career uh, you know the, and i think she definitely needs a cup of coffee and maybe that will wake her up <laughs> fair enough bossy thanks a lot thank you uh, can you give us the knowledge on the last few businesses that you ventured into i want to know the names of the last five businesses that you ventured into somdev actually asked me this <laughs> the, uh, the Rohan Bopanna Tennis Academy. Yeah. Uh, the Flying Squirrel Coffee. The Maverick yeah. and Farmer Coffee. Wow. Okay. Uh, and then uh, what else do I have? The Cardio Tennis. Okay. And uh, after that, I think those are the four. There are few in the pipeline, but nothing as yet. Uh, the bars and the restaurants and whatever. I mean, uh, I don't have it anymore, so that's why I didn't mention okay. that. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay, and the, obviously, yeah, the I had it for ten years. years. I had the bar for ten years. I had the, yeah, we yeah. had Sirius for ten years, but unfortunately, yeah. not anymore. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, so, um, Bobsi, your last questions are easy. Um, who won the Chaivat Raja contest this week and why? Since you were the well, I, I, I think uh, you know it was. Look, definitely Ali and Stephen. I mean, you know, they were. Oh wow! <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Yeah, they, I mean, Stephen started off absolutely firing up. I mean, that song <laughs> which you sent them, the jump song. I mean, I don't think anybody would have got it. Yeah, 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 exactly. I think I, that I was a tough, tough one. Song. I sent very. Yeah, tough. very tough one for them. But I think they were yeah. on a roll, and for uh, uh, you know, Ali was a pretty good effort. Uh, you yeah. know, out there. And your last question, Bobsi. Thanks so much for coming on again. I think we lost you last time. It was a pleasure to have you back. Uh, the Chai with Thank Raja you. finishing Thank next week. Chai with Raja is finishing next week. Obviously, the one thing why that you why need... why is he finishing next week? Are you running the out of thing... chai? Yeah, <laughs> send me some. But anyway, the one thing that you would uh, love the most about Chai with Raja, I would love you to. What I love the most with Chai with Raja is yeah. definitely, like I said last time, it's your swag, the way you make everybody comfortable. Even if you don't know that person, you know nobody there <laughs> can so make much. out Thanks. that Thanks. you don't know that Thanks. person. Thanks. That's Thanks. the best part about Thanks. Chai with Raja. Thanks. Thanks. So, and uh, and obviously the one thing you would like to see of Chai with Raja in the future. Continue this lockdown. I mean, what are we doing? We don't have you and me both have don't have jobs for the next two months. At least keep us entertained. Okay. I'll work on it, Bobsy. I'll definitely work on it. Thanks so much for logging in. And Stephen and Ali, you, you are the winners of the day. Thanks so much, Bobsy. Right. See you soon. See, see you boys. soon. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thanks, guys. That was a long episode, guys. Thank you so much. I will leave you with Raja Babu, but thank you so much for staying honest, staying loyal. And I look forward to seeing you back very soon. DJ Kaizo, DJ Kano, taking it off. Thank you.